Hi, I've come out in the garden today to read you my favourite story, The Bumble Bear by Nadia Shireen. Once there was a bear called Norman who really, really loved honey. In fact, he really, really, really loved it. And he was always sad when it ran out. But getting hold of more honey was always a bit tricky. If only I could be a bee, he sighed. I could have as much honey as I liked. And then Norman had quite an amazing and brilliant idea. It was an ordinary morning at bee school. Hello bees, said the queen who was in charge. We have a new bee at school today. Ooh, said the little bees. Everyone say hello to Norman. Hello, said Norman. Ooh, said the little bees. Aren't you a bit big? asked Amelia, who was a rather clever little bee. Well, I'm a special bee, said Norman. I come from a land far, far away called hmm, Giant Bee Land. Hmm, said Amelia. But then it was time for the lessons to start. Bee School Daily Planner. Name, Norman. They began their day with some painting. Then Norman joined them with some buzzing practice before everyone settled down for a nap. The bee showed him all sorts of games during playtime and Norman was brilliant at waggly dancing. And then it was time to go home. Bee school is amazing, thought Norman. He couldn't wait to come back the next day. The next morning was even better. Norman was very good at smelling the flowers. The bees really liked him. He was so funny and friendly and he always tried his best, even during flying lessons. After lunch, the bees learned how to chase away anyone who came after their honey, like spiders, mice, toads or bears. Amelia still felt there was something a bit odd about Norman. She tried to work out what it was. Amelia told the other bees what she had found out, but they didn't believe her. Of course Norman's a bee, they said. Just look at him. He is not a bee, and I shall prove it, said Amelia. She took Norman to the bee's secret honey store. Well, when he saw all that honey, Norman couldn't stop himself. After all, he really, really, really loved honey. See, Norman isn't a bee. He's a bear, said Amelia. What the chickens? gasped the little bees. Hmm, said Norman. He was asked to leave bee school at once. With Norman gone, things were quiet at bee school. Norman was such a funny bee sighed the bees. Norman was such a busy bee, sighed Amelia. Norman was a naughty bee, said the Queen, and bee school is no place for bears. But later that night, the bees heard a loud crash and a diabolical roar. Oh no, they cried, it's a bear! And this bear was big and nasty and trampled all over bee school. It grabbed the hive and started to shake it. The bees tumbled out in panic. They tried to chase the bear away, but he was just too big and too bad. But then, a fearsome buzzing beast burst through the trees. Bzzz! Ick! squealed the giant bear. It's a bee! And he ran away as fast as he could. The bees were saved and Norman was a hero. The queen gave him a big pot of honey 
and the Queen presented him with a special award. You definitely aren't to be, said the Queen. You are definitely no ordinary bear. You are, I think, a bumblebear. And bumblebears were definitely allowed to go back to big school.